has been indicted by a Carlton County grand jury. Yeah, everybody, Crab Gask with you. Uh, so I played this clip. It's from uh, Lifetime. So I played this clip from Lifetime um, because I thought it was amusing. I did watch the movie. And uh, if you get a chance, watch the movie. I'll tag him in this. Um, he's interesting, and, and I like Paul, Bill Pullman. But the interesting part of that, indicted by a Colleton County Grand Jury. Okay. Maggie and Paul, June 7, 2021, Officer Lives. Um, August 10th of 2021, two months later, SLED does hematrace testing on Alex's shirt. One day later, David Owen, SLED agent, uh, SLED agent of the year, meets with Alec Murdoch and basically says, did you kill your wife? And um, yeah, Murdoch says, no. You think I on the lives of my wife, David? Well, I have to follow the evidence. Okay, let's follow the evidence. The evidence is you're the lead investigator for the Alex Murdoch investigation. Okay. No one at your department told you that their own hematrace testing proved negative for any human blood. Negative. None. None. The shirt he was wearing the night at Moselle had no human blood on it per South Carolina Law Enforcement Division crime lab testing. Okay, I'll take, it, I'll take your word for it. Now let's jump forward to January 2022. Okay? And David Owen sends the exact same shirt that they slut already tested, said negative for blood. Sends evidence of the shirt to a David Bevel, a retired Oklahoma cop, and uh, sends that to him. Around February, Bevel gets back and says, no blood. Then all of a sudden, David Owen and Sled have this big meeting, and then David Owen flies out to Oklahoma to talk to Bevel, and he comes back. Then all of a sudden, Bevel changes his mind, where a month earlier he said, oh, no blood. Now all of a sudden there's a hundred spots of blood. Remember all the time <laughs> that Sled already said no blood. Okay? So now Owen has a test from David Bevel, it said 100 uh, pieces of blood spatter or more on the shirt, which David Owen then takes over and tells that to the Colleton County Grand Jury. We have his T-shirt. It has human blood on it, blood spatter, high-velocity spatter, over 100 spots. Now, remember... He was indicted on, I don't know, July 11th, 2022. We're talking almost a year later. Because SLED tested it in August of 2021 and said no blood. July, he's indicted. Based, in my opinion, mostly off of the evidence of a t-shirt that had blood on it all of a sudden from David Bevel, which he didn't even have the shirt. I think he had pictures. Okay, so now he's indicted. Now let's go to November 2022. I think it was sometime around November, but the defense, by law, should have had the evidence 30 days after the indictment and slid, drove their feet. And then when they finally sent them the shirt information, it was so buried 
and not labeled. They couldn't find it because they sent them mass amounts of, of evidence. But you're talking months later, well past their 30-day deadline. What were you trying to hide? Seriously, Paul, what were they trying to hide? I don't get it. So, in my opinion, how does the lead investigator, the guy, there's no one point guy, Owen is it, how does no one at SLED tell him? Send him an email, send him a text, word of mouth. Hey, get this over to the lead investigator. Or did he have it? I don't know. But he didn't know about it, according to him, until four months after the indictment. Four months after the indictment was of July, uh, August, September, October, yeah, November. And that's when I think the defense got pissy. Uh, I was going to the judge and like, hey, they're dragging their feet, giving us evidence. Oh, oh here it is. Mm. Yeah. Crazy. That's the kind of stuff I wish was in the movie. You know, they kind of glaze over that, but it's a good movie to watch. But when I laughed when I saw indicted by the Carlton County uh, grand jury, I was like, on false information. And when Jim Griffin asked David Owen that on the stand, did you lie to the Carlton County grand jury when you told them that there was blood on the shirt? He said, his answer was, I, I was misinformed. The largest investigation in South Carolina history. And he was misinformed. You believe that? I highly suggest you all take a look at uh, Juror 785's book called Because Enough is Enough. It is coming out soon. I don't know exactly when. I think it was pushed back because of some national media um, wanting to, to take a look at it first, so we'll see, but it's going to open a whole bunch of doors and ask a whole lot of questions, and uh, it, it's going to be mind-blowing. Anyways, that's it. Grab a gas, get out.